How can I improve my mental wellness? Find out on this next episode of Digest This. Welcome to Digest This, the show that helps you revolutionize your digestive health. Here are your hosts, Dr. Liz Cruz and Tina Nunziato. Hello and welcome to Digest This. I am Dr. Liz Cruz and I've got Tina Nunziato sitting right here by my side. <laughs> Two hands today. Hopefully you're watching this on YouTube. Two hands. Two hand hello. <clears throat> So she's my little politician. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. If you're a regular listener, we are so excited that you are here again mm -hmm. and that you are so loyal to us. We love you and appreciate and that. And Happy New Year. That's right. Happy New Year. Woo! That's right. A new year, new beginnings. Mm -hmm. And if you're a new time listener, a first time listener. <laughs> I like that, a new time listener. A new time listener. You did that last time. Too. Welcome. Yeah. Yes, I, I realize I that. that. <laughs> I knew that something didn't sound right as it came out of my mouth, but I couldn't quite figure it's it out. Puerto in Rican that. English is a second language thing. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, I see. Okay. <laughs> Están listos? Vamos a hablar así. <laughs> Uh, I just sometimes automatically just know, revert say, back to the mother language. You say like weird words sometimes, and I'm like, that's the Puerto Rican coming out of it. <laughs> so on our wellness series, oh, we're on our self-care series. That's mm -hmm. what we're on. We're on our self-care series, and we are on topic number three. The first mm -hmm. one we did was physical well uh, self-care. The second one that we just did was mental. Social. Uh, I'm sorry, social. Um, the one we're going to do now is mental self-care. Okay, what mental self-care. Great self -care. time to be doing this series. Oh, totally. The end of the year, totally. beginning of a new year, refresh, reboot. That's right. That's right. Everyone's looking at doing their, you know, <laughs> list of things I'm going to do better in 2023. Great time to listen to this podcast and come up with a plan. That's right for yourself. That's right. <clears throat> so, welcome to this third series third topic in our in our self-care series i'm having a really hard time talking <laughs> you know it's a new year so so mental self-care so important so important okay because the things that we think about and the things that we fill our mind with right mm -hmm. are so important as far as our psychological well-being that's deep what that's right so and, and you know i think the best example of that is, um, for example, let's talk about social platforms, mm -hmm. right? Social, media. social mm -hmm. media. Let's talk about things that we watch on TV. Mm -hmm. Okay, like I have, I cannot, I cannot watch some of the series that are about um, like uh, a serial killer. Like I know this big series that came out on Netflix recently on Dahmer. Dahmer. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> like everyone's been talking about it, especially mm -hmm. when it came out. Like. At the surgical center, the nurses, the techs, everyone was talking about, oh, it's so amazing. I can't watch stuff like that. And mm -hmm. I actually did watch a little bit of it just to see what it was. And I just couldn't. And like I leave at the end of watching something like that, like I just feel like really dark. There's like this dark mm -hmm. darkness about those that type of stuff. And then and then I'm like traumatized where I'm thinking about it for for nights and nights and talking to tina like can you believe this and <laughs> and just the thought of those things happening to people okay look i know there's badness out there um you know we don't watch the news because it's just depressing you know and i know her grandfather you, when he was alive used to give her a hard time how could you guys not watch the news you don't know what's going on you know like tina always said if it's something i need to know about I'm going to find out from someone, That's exactly right. you know, and we don't watch the news because it just brings us down. And in this world, the last thing we need is Another our things way. to bring us mm -hmm. down, you know, like, and then social media, you talk about social media. Well, no, I mean, like we've just, we've been really careful with our kids and teaching them about, you know, just the amount of time spent on social media platforms and, and TikTok specifically mm -hmm. and what's out there and, and then, you know, they have their own social media apps. I mean, what every kid is on right now, Snap and all that kind of stuff. But, you know, we just tell them to be really careful with what you're surrounding yourself with, right? right. What you're consuming in your brain because it does affect you. And this bro world is already broken, right? Yes. We all know yes. how broken this world is. We, um, 
you know, we're not blind to the fact that there's brokenness and there's pain out there for a lot of people, but we have to live too. And the more you continue to be bombarded with those things and the more, almost too, the more um, you get hit with those things, you become kind of numb to it and mm -hmm. you don't want to be numb to those things, right? right? right. Um, you know, and then we're, and even like the movies that are coming out and stuff, it's just more graphic, more this, more that. And it's because we have to be entertained. Mm -hmm. We're not entertained very easily anymore, right? We're not shocked very easily anymore. True. That's too bad, right? Because um, we've just seen it all. Right. We've seen it all. And we just our expectations are so high of things um, just because of what we've been exposed to. And it's not good yeah. for our mental health to be constantly bombarded <clears throat> with bad and negative and hurtful things and, and pain. Um, you know, we've got to take care of our brain. Yeah. Right. And what we're being exposed to. And so part of that is watching what we watch and what we listen to and what we what we surround ourselves with right? what we read what, right you know and and so yes absolutely so so just um i would i'm i'm gonna just call that the passive taking in of information right okay um because it's you know what we hear it's what we see it's what you know what we're watching um what we're listening to on the radio mm -hmm. like i you know i still I have a really, really hard time in the car. Like I listen to a lot of my own music. I play a lot of Spanish and jazz and stuff like that. Every once in a while, um, I'll let I'll let one of my kids put on something from their phone, or or we'll put a station on. But I'm shocked that so many of these songs have so much profanity in them, um, and that that's okay. It's you know, become the norm. And that's right? and that, and actually it's true because my one of my twins was playing a song the other day and it had profanity in it. And I was like, whoa. She's like, oh mommy, all the songs have that. I'm like, you know, right. I really have a hard time listening to that right. and, and knowing that you're listening to that. Because yeah, so what if everything now all the songs have that, then maybe it needs means we need to like slow it down on that kind of music and play stuff that's been you know, whatever, edited or whatever they call it. But it's just crazy what's out there on the regular popular stations, right. music-wise. Okay, so I'm going to say that's our passive taking in. Then the we have the... part of passive, oh, the, uh -huh. and it's actually kind of a mix, because I know you're going to talk next about things you're going to go do. Right, right. right. But um, sur the people you're surrounding yourself oh, yes, with yes. is really important, too. I know we just got done with the podcast on social, right, mm -hmm. and, and having friends and being around your family. But there are some family that are toxic, right? And there are some friends that are toxic and toxic relationships, maybe a boyfriend or a girlfriend. And being careful in those situations and trying to pull yourself out of those situations because, again, that is going to affect your mental <clears throat> well-being. So now it, go ahead and it, move on. Well, no, it. that's so important. I'm glad you brought that up because yeah. it is so important because, you know, sometimes some of these toxic people may be your own family members, right. okay? your own family members. And so the question is like, what do you do in those situations where you've got a family member that is just always so negative and every time you talk to them, it's either, you know, negative about what's going on in their life or bashing other people or other things. And it's like just constant stream of negativity, you know, but yet they're your, your special, you know, whatever, it's a family member. So those are tough situations. Those are tough situations and you just have to figure out a way to maybe divert the conversation. Yeah, or limit the amount of time you spend. I mean, obviously if it's, let's say a parent or a sibling, you know, it's hard to say, oh, I'm not gonna have a relationship with that of person. Course, but of course. you say, I'm just gonna limit the amount of exactly. time that I'm exposing myself to that. Right? Exactly, exactly. You know, you're in control, <clears throat> right, of, of Always. how much time you spend. You are so in control, just that's right. That. You are in control of your life and how you direct the different energies that are coming at you, the right. positive, the negative. Okay, so then let's talk about active. Active right. meaning what you actively do to stimulate your brain, right. okay? Um, you know, you don't have to go off and start doing fancy Sudoku puzzles <laughs> and, you know, brain twisters, even though those are stimulating, you know, and they get you thinking and they are, and they're distracting so that you, you're doing that as opposed to being, you know, scrolling on your, on your feed, on your, on your social media platform, you know, doing something that's really stimulating your brain. Um, but reading, reading a good book. Reading a good book, reading is, can be, is such a, is such, I mean, it's, it's an art 
that's been lost. Mm -hmm. I mean, I remember my mom used to take us to the library all the time and we'd come out with piles of books and we would read through them. And, and it was so much fun going to the library and reading is such a great thing. I mean, me personally, I still like to have the, the book yeah, in my like hand. Reading the book especially is like, yeah. become like, like, you know, stone age, you know, especially with all the Kindles and iPads right. and everything. It's like people are reading online now, which <clears throat> they say is not the best for reading in general, right? I mean, a lot of people have moved to that because, oh, I can carry all my books with me in one little thing. I don't sure. have to have all these books. But who's reading a million books at one time? I mean, not me. I mean, I'm just reading one book at a time, usually. Um, but yeah, I think it's just that whole idea of having a book, yeah. right? That tech, that tactile. There's just something about holding the book. Yeah. I, I mean, we personally, Slipping we love it. Page, yeah, we, we love reading. Even on our vacations, each of us each usually sticks a book or a t two books. I, I'm usually the one that has three or four books going at the same time mm -hmm. and slowly, very slowly get through them. But, but yeah, we take a book with us when we go on vacation. I mean, it's just, it, it's a different form of stimulation. And it's just something that is so great to do. And I always try to read a book for like growth, mm -hmm. right? Like on try to, you know, not a self-help book necessarily, but just anything on growth, uh, how to challenge me in some way. But then I also try to read a fun book, yep. right? Just to escape, right? Into That's a right. different world. That's right. So. Um, what else? I mean, you, you could do puzzles. You could do, you know, word searches. I mean, literally a puzzle that you buy a 1,000 piece puzzle and sit down and put it together. And you can get out and learn a skill. You know, I know one of the things that I do specifically for my mental health is continue my Kung Fu. Mm -hmm. You know, I spend about eight to 10 hours a week doing Kung Fu, learning new forms, new weapons, constantly challenging my brain. Right. That's right. what you're saying. A lot of people go out and play a sport. You know, they love to challenge themselves in sport. They love to challenge themselves with maybe learning a foreign language. A foreign language. Um, that's a great thing. I do instruments. Mm -hmm. So I have a ukulele and I have a guitar. Um, and I will sit down with my ukulele and, and try to learn more chords and play, play songs, a few songs on the ukulele. I love percussion, Latin percussion, congas, bongos, you know, and, and what I really love is when I start playing my ukulele, you know, all of a sudden I get, you know, one of my kids coming over to where I'm at in the music room and my son, you know, he'll get on the drums and he'll like play along, you know, and so sometimes we've got like our little, little band going. our little band going. Yeah. So, but it's so stimulating. It is so stimulating. So yeah, what, I mean, absolutely learn an instrument. Ukulele mm -hmm. has got to be one of the easiest instruments to learn. Mm -hmm. Go buy yourself a ukulele. You could get one for cheap and, and, and get a songbook and chords and you'll learn it quickly. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, I mean, there, there are so many different things. I mean, join an art class, join mm -hmm. a ceramic class, do something with your hands and your brain Learn and computers. If you don't know, computers, absolutely do a computer class, just, just something where you're learning something new, right? You're pushing your brain. I know we have a lot of seniors that we take care of, um, through the practice and through the wellness stuff. And they're always like, Oh, you can't teach an old dog new tricks. And I'm like, yes, you can. <laughs> I've got a 98 year old that learned how to use the computer and she's ordering stuff online. And it's amazing. God it's bless. It's awesome. Yeah. And yeah. so there's always time to learn. Well, grandma, my grandma took piano lessons in her seventies. God bless. Yeah. yeah. There you go. And got, and she, and she got to be very good to the point where then she was playing piano for the congregation at her church. Nice. You know, so the, absolutely. I mean, Never, never too, too late. Never too late. You're never too old. Mm -hmm. You know what? It's not about the numbers. It's about our hearts, our souls. Okay. Um, so there is so much out there. And, and the other thing that comes along with that is that gratification and that psychologicalness of learning something new where, wow, I did it, mm -hmm. you know, oh, cooking, cooking, because, and I bring up cooking because it's something that I want to do more of, mm -hmm. and, and I've been doing, you know, I've been dabbling, finding new recipes, um, trying to do a little bit more, you know, even learning stuff from my wife, who's an amazing cook. And, um, you know, I mean, there you go. You cook for your family, cook mm -hmm. for a group of people. Like, it's just, it feels good. And you truly can express and, and share your love through something like that. Mm -hmm. So all sorts of little ideas, things out there for you to do to stimulate, stimulate you to make you grow and, and, and to make you feel good about yourself. Absolutely. 
All right. Wow. I'm exhausted. I know. That I'm... was a good one. That was very mentally challenging. <laughs> okay, we've had enough mental stimulation for the day. <laughs> We're done. Yeah. Oh. So anyways, um, if you want to connect with us, go to our website, drlizcruz.com. Click the magenta button on the homepage and schedule a free 30-minute wellness consult. That's absolutely right. It's free to you and you can do it from anywhere in the world because it's done over the phone. Okay. Um, if you have not rated us, please rate us and please give us a five because that'll help other people just like you to find us. <laughs> and if you have not subscribed to our podcast, please subscribe. That way you will never miss an episode. All right. Well, on that note, we want to once again, wish you a happy new year. Yay. 2023. And, uh, and by the way, the Super Bowl is here in Arizona, here in Phoenix. Mm -hmm. So yeah, 2023, here we come. All right, we'll catch you on the next podcast. Thank you for joining Dr. Liz Cruz and Tina Nunziato. To learn more about their revolutionary products and services, go online to www.drlizcruz.com.